Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark Thompson. Um, this is going to be a pretty short video. Uh, I wanted to kind of just show you some of the technical aspects of setting up uh, your WordPress blog. Um, if, if you don't know how to do it, you can easily outsource this. You could probably go on Fiverr.com and find someone for five bucks to do it. Or, you know, depending on who your host is, they'll probably do it for you. Um, so if, if, you're, if you're stumped on how to install WordPress and you're just not that you know, technically savvy, you don't know how to do it, just talk to your, your, um, your hosting provider. They would probably set it up for you because it doesn't take more than you know, five minutes to set up. Uh, a lot of them just have a one-click install, which uh, makes it really easy. So um, right now you're looking at Bluehost, which is one of the host, uh, hosting accounts that I use. And they actually have something when you log in here called you know, Simple Scripts Installations. And it actually has WordPress right in here. So you may see WordPress. You may see uh, something called Fantastico. You, you just need to click on that and tell which domain you want it installed on and it installs it for you. So, um, you know, uh, I can just click, it says click here, install WordPress. And I just pick from the drop down, uh, you know, you probably can't see this because it's blurred out, but um, you just pick the, uh, the domain that you want it installed on, accept the terms and then hit complete and it will automatically install it for you. It'll give you the login to log into the back end. And this is basically what you would see here is a back end similar to this where, you know, the login or the back end for WordPress. So you'll, you know, and, th and there's lots of tutorials out there on how to use WordPress. I'm not going to go through all that in this. Um, but just just do a YouTube search for you know WordPress training, and there's tons of information on it. What I want to do is just give you the relevant relevant information that you need for setting up, uh, you know, tweaking your website. Okay, so once you have WordPress installed, you'll go into the back end here, and there's some plugins that I use. So I just wanted to tell you about those to install. Um, All-in-one SEO pack is probably by far the best SEO uh, plugin for WordPress. What it does is it um, it will pull in unique um, title tags for you, description tags. It'll dynamically generate those, as well as a lot of other cool things. So you know, just install that. Um, all you need to do is just click on Add New and do a search for All in One SEO, and you'll see it right here. It says it's already installed, but all you need to do is just click on install now and it will install that for you. And then you just go into your plugins once it's installed and then you'll have to click on click on activate. So I've already activated a whole bunch of different plugins. All in one SEO pack is a good one. Um, Google XML sitemaps. Just download or install and activate this. What it does is it uh, automatically creates an XML sitemap and it submits it to the three major search engines. So this is going to help get your website crawled properly and get all your, your content indexed. Um, I also use what's called one-click close comments. And what I like to do is close all the comments on my affiliate sites just because you know the goal is not really to have people engage with the content. It's to get people to click on my links. So if you, if you use one-click close comments, it'll close comments on your site. And you'll see here, if you look at the blog posts, um, looks like two of them haven't been closed, but you can click, you can activate them or deactivate them just by this little red um, red uh, circle here. So I just closed it there. When it's red, it's deactivated. Okay. Uh, what else? I also use WP No Category Base. So what happens is uh, it, it removes the slash category from your permalink structure. So if you're if you have categories, uh, you may just want to remove you know, so instead of being domain.com slash category slash the URL, it just goes, it just says domain.com slash then the URL. So it puts it one step closer to the root directory, which will help with search engine optimization. Okay. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Uh, Easy Azon, this is a, a plugin from Chris Guthrie. It's a, uh, you have to pay for it, but it's reasonably priced. I think it's like 47 bucks. And it does a really good job of inserting Amazon affiliate links into your blog uh, through either text links or image links. 
So feel free to Google Easy Azon, and it's a pretty cool plugin. Um, you know, I, I think Chris did a really good job with it. So I use that on a few of my sites. It's a it's a paid plugin. Um, this Flexi Quote Rotator, I just I've used that on a few sites just to uh, rotate um, reviews that I've I found on Amazon. So you can display reviews on a blog post, and it'll rotate through as many as you put in there. Um, Let's see if there's anything else. I mean, there's a few that I've tested here, but I haven't really used. So those are just a few plugins that I would recommend installing. Um, they're really good. Um, let's see if there's anything else. I think that's it. So, you know, if, if I click on post, this is where you can create your new content. Um, schedule it. You know, if you notice here in my content, you know, I've scheduled them, you know, a few days um, away from each other. So, like, this was August 22nd, this was the 24th, 26th, the 28th. So I tried to, you know, schedule my content so it lasts throughout the entire month. Um, but, you know, like I said, I mean, there's, if, if the technical aspects are what's holding you back, um, that really shouldn't be um, a reason, okay? Because there's so many resources out there. You can hire a virtual assistant from, from odesk.com, and they can install WordPress for you. Um, or you can just talk to your support team, uh, you know, at GoDaddy or or Never or Bluehost or whoever you're using, and they'll probably walk you through how to install WordPress. So that shouldn't really be, uh, uh, you know, a reason for it to stop you from doing this. All right, so that was just a quick video. Just wanted to kind of go through a few plugins that I use. Um, you know, using the one-click install would definitely be helpful if, um, which most hosting providers have nowadays. So. Uh, hopefully that was helpful, and in the next video, I'm going to actually show you a few examples of sites that I've put up and just show you how to lay out the site and what things have worked um, for me in, in the past. So I'll see you guys in the next video.